Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. Remember as a kid practicing your signature when you were supposed to be listening to the teacher? Somewhere in one of those boxes in my basement where the detritus of my life is stored sits an old high school notebook full of nothing but my signatures. I don't think it was vanity. I had nothing to be vain about. I think I just wanted to be prepared for the day when signing my name would matter and would carry with it an official imprimatur. I cared a great deal about my signature, and it never occurred to me that it should look like anything other than my actual name. Some people's signatures I see today are absolutely unreadable. You might see an extravagantly crafted first letter, say an M, and then what amounts to a frantic scribble, or worse, a virtual straight line that somehow represents the remainder of the person's name. My signature, after all these years, is still a work in progress. For some reason, crafting a capital T and a capital W that are just right remains difficult and elusive. My signature today, like my signature in high school, is unique every time I write it on a check or some official form. My signatures are like snowflakes, no two alike. Sometimes I wish my first name started with a B. I make great capital Bs. And for some reason, when I sign my name as Tom instead of Thomas, I cannot replicate the capital T. When I sign Tom, I inexplicably use a lowercase t. Makes no sense, I know. But my capital T for Thomas looks a bit pretentious and inappropriate on those occasions when I just sign Tom. Not only that, my capital T looks more like a capital C. For reasons I can't explain, the vertical stroke of my T bends like the left half of a clock dial. I actually had a clerk ask me once, your name is Chamas? Maybe that's why I use the lowercase t when I sign as Tom. I don't want to be known as Com, or worse, Kami. I'm sure you can understand. My sensitivity on the point goes all the way back to my first driver's license. I filled out the forms on the day of my driver's test, and not yet being schooled in the nuances of such things, I signed my name as Tom Walton, which I considered an upgrade over Tommy, which is what everybody was still calling me. The trooper assigned the unenviable task of accompanying me on my road test, gave me one of those looks, and said in a tone more stern than a public servant should have used, especially to a kid, Son, when will you learn your name is Thomas? I think I learned right about then, actually. I have a friend who refuses to use his actual and official signature when he signs for a credit card purchase. Not only does he scribble it differently, he doesn't even use his own name. Usually, he's Donald Duck. Seriously, I'm not making that up. He doesn't want anybody copying his real signature. So far, he says, nobody has even glanced at it and then said, thank you for shopping with us, Mr. Duck. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m or hear past episodes at wgte.org slash life.